I worked for the NFL for a while. Cool. Yeah. I did like social media and stuff. Fired. Mm. <laughs> 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 Awkward. Dodge a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Got got fired from the NFL. Did 75 hard. Now That's I do this. That's the job that you got fired from. Yeah. Why'd, you, why'd you get fired? Aren't you? I mean... I mean, thank God you did. Yeah. Thank God I got fired. I just don't think it was, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be like the, uh, the work environment wasn't at all. I knew it was going to be hard because I'd worked in sports in college too. Mm -hmm. And I was a sports editor of my school newspaper and I like, like, I just, it was mostly covering up sexual harassment claims. I thought I was (laughs) going to be like, I literally was like my favorite part of sports journalism was, um, long form storytelling. So I liked following them for like months. And so like, my senior captain. Did they know you were following them? <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, like, well, the restraining order is kind of. I was not. like, um, my lawyer has advised me to not answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it was like something I really enjoyed, and then I, you know, got my what I thought was my dream job, and it <laughs> wasn't. It was horrible working there. But mm. I mean, even then, I've worked in sports. They know my lore, like fans. So like, they've asked me, how do I get an athlete? And I was like, well, first of all, are you interested in being a sister wife? Because that's typically saying, what it's all, like to be with an athlete. Mouth. Yeah, I was like, second of all, first of all, don't. But second of all, if you're going to be okay with him having four girlfriends at once, and then last, I was like, just be in the room. If you have a beating heart and you're there, <laughs> they're down. Let me ask you something. Since sure. you've gotten recently super successful and famous, <laughs> are any friendships getting weird, or have any friends in your life not specific? Don't yeah. Any, like yeah, the, yeah. Like, oh, like if it's changed anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yeah, I think naturally, but I think thankfully, you're like I just have to rush I- to re- Western Union a couple times a day. <laughs> Friends I got a lot of like, wire transfers yeah, going out. Let's get ready. You know, <laughs> I feel like uh, not really because I, when I got the platform and everything, I was already graduated from college. I was already working, yeah. so it's kind of like the friends that I had then, I still have now, and they That's don't cool. give a about me doing anything which I appreciate That's and awesome. like need so desperately. And I've joked about that too, like. My brother, literally until like maybe a year ago, didn't even know what my handle was on TikTok because he doesn't give a What's so. up with brothers, man? Like my brother literally was like, I told someone when he was in high school because he just graduated from high school last year. He was like, oh, I was in class and some girls talking about TikTok. I was like, oh, my sister has a TikTok. And she was like, oh, what's her handle? I'll look her up. He goes, I don't know. My brother doesn't know I what like, I do for a living. Yeah, literally. I told my brother, I'm like, it's my first and last name. Like the last name we share. It's- and he was like, how was I supposed to know that? I don't know. Uh, I guess you must, got me. There's got to be some <laughs> hardwired biological thing to make brothers like, like, like disgusted by their. Sister. It's like to prevent incest or something. They're so nonchalant about everything. My brother, everything. like, people will recognize me on the street, and she's, yeah. he's like, "Do you know him?" I'm like, "Yeah, I know the last forty people that just walked <laughs> by." Yes, I. Just, what are the odds? I just know everyone at Gate Four in the airport. That's my really good friend. Like, he cannot <laughs> acknowledge the fact that I have any success, and I kind of appreciate it sometimes. I it, crave it at this point. I feel yeah. like the um, my family is so normal, which I need so desperately. So I'm super okay with it. Like I've joked about this so many times, but like my grandpa does not watch me on TikTok. Does that mean he doesn't have one? No, he does. Um, He just doesn't follow me and doesn't watch me. And he told me that (laughs) to my face (laughs) Uh, to which I was like, Totally fair. No worries at all. This is how um, you got funny. Yeah, you, needed, yeah. you need some cool adversity. Yeah, I know. I love like my family is so aggressively humbling. It's not even funny. So That's like funny. I even joke about this too. Like I once got a uh, like a, a reach out from a big company and they were basically they wanted me to audition for like an animated movie. Right. And I was like, absolutely. I want to do it. So they asked, can you sing? And I was like, no. Uh, I am not tone deaf, but I definitely can't sing at all. And they were like, okay, cool, cool. Sounds good. Then a year later, they're like, I need a minute acapella singing. And then I need you to read like five lines. Uh Oh, animated movie. I feel like you guys can handle this with AI in post. (laughs) What are we doing? Uh Oh, um, I can't sing at all, but they wanted me to sing something acapella, which is even worse. And so I asked one of my cousins, like that's really close to my family. And he has a beautiful voice and he used to lead like choirs and like that. So I was like, can you help me? Cause I am too humiliated to ask literally anybody at all to help me with this. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes to my house and he's like, He's like, he's like, let me just like hear something. And I was like, ah, like me just so aggressively humiliated because I can't sing at all. But may I, how ridiculous is sing? I mean, (laughs) the idea that you're just like, like, get be serious. (laughs) They grow up. Like, what are we doing? I always joke. I'm like, I'll talk about sucking wieners all day long. But like the thought of singing in front of someone makes me want to shoot myself. I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm like, like, what are you? And so then, I would rather give a blowjob with my eyes wide open, 
like on eye camera. Just the idea that you're like, huh, huh, like what <laughs> are you I doing? I remember one time when he was like recording me, literally mid take, he goes, okay, I'm gonna stop it. That one we're for sure not gonna use. I don't want to use that at all. And I was like, oh, no worries. No worries. Uh, and he's like, let's just get it. Uh, maybe we need to be more confident. I go, that's, don't know how I'm supposed to do that after that feedback, but I, I love, uh, yeah, right, yeah. no worries. I'm going to suck. That sucked. Can yeah. you be more confident? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was so God awful. Nah. Uh, maybe you should work on confidence. <laughs> so like I, my whole family's like that, which I appreciate and need. So like, and my friends from before this are still exactly the same. They I treat me the same. They don't get so. I'm thinking about your grandfather on TikTok. 